that feeling like you gotta go, but you just can't? How about for 22 years? Photos from this case, jaw dropping. That's today. Coming up. It took 22 years to produce 30 pounds of jaw dropping. That's coming up. Ever have that feeling like you gotta go, but you just can't? Yes. Yes. We all have. Yeah. It's frustrating, but imagine feeling like that for 22 very long years. That was what? the scenario for our next patient. Get this, Drew. 22 years until doctors surgically removed almost 30 pounds of, I'll say poop, from his body. The photos from this case are jaw-dropping. <laughs> that, that's a jaw-dropper. Now, that's impressive. That's, and and that's I, impressive. I do want to uh, wow. it introduce like a, walrus. a specialist, yeah. proctologist, Dr. David Rosenfeld, who, it scares me to admit this, but you're probably excited about this. Talking, like, that, uh, yeah. Now, is that intestines and the poop is inside of it? Is yes. that, okay. That, that is amazing. I mean, I've as a colorectal surgeon, I've removed the full, the whole colon for people with ulcerative colitis, removed portions of the colon for cancer with big tumors. That is unbelievable. It looks I mean, like how, could, so, how could he survive I mean, this, this is the yeah. entire colon, isn't it? That, that's three feet of his colon. That's portion of his colon. They left part of it in, so with so the stool could... out, it'll start to contract and go down to normal, but that... How, how do you survive that? How well, do you, I mean, it didn't the... rupture. He's lucky. I mean, and, and because, uh, because this came from a congenital defect, birth defect, called Hirschsprung's, he's been dealing with this for so many years. It's just a, a small portion of his, uh, uh, the distal rectum that wouldn't relax. It's been building up, so as you know, tissue stretches. So I'm sure he was going to the bathroom. I mean, it wasn't like he wasn't going or they would have figured out a birth. Well, yeah, because, Mega because, because Mega Hirschsprung's Hirschsprung's is exactly. diagnosed very early Infancy, on. right. So, for this to have gone on for that long without a diagnosis being made, there, right. there are some mitigating circumstances here. Maybe, right. maybe a little bit of poop was coming yes. out along the he side. He passed in a little meconium, probably explosive. He gets out of the hospital. Now he's chronically constipated, and he's not going. He's taking laxatives and enemas, and the stool's getting harder and harder. It's getting what we call impacted, so the liquid is going around it, and so some of the liquid's coming out, but the other's staying there, and it just keeps filling up and filling up, and over years, I mean, he, they said he was, like, pregnant, so he was walking around, with 30 pounds of stool and intestines, which, I mean. Wouldn't someone typically do some imaging? Like, at, oh, it's just kind this, of a gradual. This, 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 yeah. this is a big miss, and yeah, you're right. Where, where I mean, did this occur? This is 30 Ultrasound? pounds, China. This is 30 pounds. I'm not sure you can this, that. I couldn't imagine holding this in my intestines for that. Yeah, if you went in here, a simple, a simple abdominal x-ray would reveal this. It would reveal this. this I mean, so, and stool. I mean, if you passed this thing, you'd break the uh, porcelain, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, basically. If you're at home, you right. probably don't have that. No. But when should you so go that, to the that's doctor? the thing. At home, people think, oh, my God, I'm constipated. That's going to happen to me. And that, that comes, that's a congenital defect called Hirschsprung's. The difference is that was happening over years mm -hmm. and stretching the colon over a long period of time. And so when someone doesn't go to the bathroom for about two or three days and they start to feel pressure in their pelvis and they're feeling pain, they will call and come into the office and they're what's called impacted. And I'll take all the stool out right there in the office and it hurts. I mean, there's no question. This is not fun for the patient. However, when I'm done getting this rock hard stool out, they just, Thank you, doctor. Can I say one thing? Because yeah, I mean, we've become just, friends. Yeah. Every time you come on, it turns out we have a <laughs> segment. But yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> I just love well, chatting well, with you about the one of those things. things. I love it. And also, last comment here is there's a reason why we have good doctors, proctologists like Dr. Rosenfeld. This can really be debilitating. So if you're having issues with constipation or anything else going on down there in the backside, go see a guy like this. He can really improve your quality of life. Thank you, sir. Stick around.